In this video, I'm going to show you how to take physical schoolwork like this and turn it into digital formats like this. Hi, my name is Dave Coplin. I'm a technology expert and a parent. And for the next few weeks, I'm bringing you a series of technology top tips, all aimed to try and help make your remote schooling experience past that little bit smoother. This week, we're focusing on a key issue for lots of parents, which is how do you take some physical schoolwork like this and turn it into a digital file that can be easily submitted to your school? It's not as difficult as you might think. All you need is your phone, a few simple steps, and you're ready to go. So when it comes to converting physical schoolwork into a digital file, you've basically got three choices in terms of what you can do. Number one, you can use a scanner if you've got one of those at home. Number two, you can use some special software on your phone. Or number three, the simplest option is you can just simply take a photo on your phone and submit that. Now scanners are pretty tricky and also scanners work in different ways. So it's really difficult for me to be able to show you a step-by-step -step guide to that because it will depend on whether you've got a scanner and what kind of scanner you've got. The area I want to focus on is that option number two, using an app on your phone, not just to take a picture of the phone, but to turn it into a really legible digital file that your teachers will love. So the app I really want to talk to you about is an app called Microsoft Office Lens. Now don't be fooled by the name. Yes, it's from Microsoft, but actually it works on all platforms. So if you have an Android phone or an Android tablet, it will work on that. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, it will work on that. It will work if your school uses Microsoft Teams. It will also work if your school uses Google Classroom. And if they don't use either of those platforms, it's a really simple way for you to get physical paper digitized in a format that you can send through email or share through any other digital means to your teachers. And from a parental perspective, it cuts out all of that nightmare about getting the scanner to work, copying it to a PC, all of that stuff is out of the window. The power literally is in the palm of your hands. Interested? Fantastic. Right, remember, it's a free app. You can get it from the Google Play Store here, or you can get it from the Apple Store over here. Grab the app and I'll see you in a minute and I'll show you how it works. So let's take a quick look inside the app and see how it works. When you launch the app for the first time, you're going to see something a bit like this. It gives you an offer of a tutorial, a couple of screens of that. Then you've got your usual permissions page. And within this, there's privacy permissions and usage statistics and all that stuff. Uh, but there's also, it's going to ask for access to your photos. Now, this is kind of crucial because the way it works is it accesses the photos in your camera roll. You select the ones you want to send or, or to uh, pass through Office Lens and away you go. So you kind of need to say yes to that. So once you sign up to that, you literally just grab it and you point it over your homework. Now, this is actually some real homework. I was helping my son with his maths the other day, so this is in my notebook. I'm doing some of the, uh, the sums so I can get my head around of it before I can teach my son. And you literally just hold the camera over and you press the button. And once the button's been pressed, it takes an image. You can then crop that image so that you just focus on the specific bit of work that you want. You can also pull up these filters, and I often find they just make it a bit more legible for the teacher. So in this case, I actually think the grayscale filter it works pretty well for this image. So I'm going to select that. I click on done and then I can add another image. So if you've got multiple sheets for the same assignment that you want to get back to the same teacher, you just keep clicking the add, take a photo of the page, crop it, click add again and keep going until you're done. And once you're done, you click on the, uh, the button here, the, the little icon that tells you the number of pages and it brings up the share screen like this. And you can see there's a whole range of options. Now for me, uh, I can go to OneDrive if I want. If I click on OneDrive, it will, I have a OneDrive account, so it will go to my OneDrive account and it will create a folder called Office Lens and I'll find the file in there. If I'm doing this in response to a Teams assignment, I can actually go straight to Teams from here. And you can see also I've got Google Drive listed as an option. So again, if I have a Google Classroom, I can upload it to my Google Drive and then drag and drop. If you don't have access to any of those platforms, well, of course, you can just simply add it as an attachment to an email, or you can put it in a file repository that your school might be using for your classwork. And that's it. It's super simple. So there you go. That's this week's technology top tip. Really straightforward, really simple and free. We love free. So don't forget, it's called Microsoft Office Lens. Here's the App Store link for Android. Here's the App Store link for iOS. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you get on. And if you use a different app, by the way, and you use that and you find that better for you, let us know. We are always open for, for your feedback and insight and guidance on things that you can do.